It's me, Ashley. You can see I'm rocking the all natural, really no makeup, <laughs> makeup look. <laughs> and today I wanted to talk about this video. I'll insert a clip. My cousin posted it on Facebook and then I seen somebody else post it in a Facebook group that I'm on. It's so weird. You've never seen natural black hair. No, it's just so it grows like this. Oh no. It's, like, it's so weird. You've never seen natural black hair. No, it's just so it grows like this. Oh no. And I just want to say, bitch, who the fuck do you think Grace is for you to touch her hair like that? Like, yes, I know natural hair is so fascinating because it's so beautiful and magical. It shrinks up to a TWA, and then when it's straightened, it's down to bitches' booties. Like, I'm sorry that you weren't graced with this magnificent mane, but don't pet me like I'm some kind of fucking animal, okay? That made me uncomfortable for her but also kind of upset because you know we kind of don't know oh my god my car am i gonna turn am i gonna get out of here okay fuck sorry i got stuck on some ice because it's fucking snowing here but anyways i kind of felt some kind of way because she let that happen but then again she's at work and if she would have got mad, she would have probably got labeled with that. Oh my God, she's such, she has such an attitude. She's so negative. She's so ghetto. Because anytime you express any kind of expression or emotion other than smiling in people's faces and grinning and laughing all the time, you're labeled ghetto or you have an attitude. You're that ghetto rude black girl. Let's not act like this is not true because that's why most, I'm not gonna say all, that's why most black people feel uncomfortable in a, a work environment, especially an office work environment because the energy is always passive aggressive. Passive aggressive, petty, ignorant. But we don't really know if she said that it was okay for that girl to touch her hair. But obviously the person who recorded it, it doesn't look like that's the case. And that's why everybody was pissed off about it because I'm pretty sure it was established, I don't know, maybe, well it's 2020 now. I think it's been established maybe like three, four years ago now. <sighs> don't touch, my hair okay do you like when people come up to you and just touch your hair you don't even know them or they didn't even ask they just mm, stick their hands in there and roll all up in your hair and maybe mess up your style how do you feel how long did it take you to get your ready how long did it take you to achieve that hairstyle that you wanted for the day how upset would you be if somebody just threw their little phalanges up in your hair and fucked up all your hard work for that morning so, I did not think that shit was cool at all. But, on the other hand, I don't mind if people touch my hair if they ask first. Because, if you're asking, I feel like we have a relationship established enough where I wouldn't care that you touch my hair. It's always the people that don't know you that wouldn't feel comfortable asking that try to stick their hands out there and touch your shit. Now, I had a coworker do that to me, and I knew her, so I wasn't that upset about it, but it was after I had had my hair straightened, because I'm one of the people who, get, who gets hella shrinkage with when my hair is in its natural state, and I don't do something to try and stretch it out. And my cousin had finally given me a uh, silk press, if I have the, I think I have the picture, I'll insert it in here. But, like, 
like I had my uh, hair out straightened and it was it's long it's pretty it's decent I'm not gonna say it's long it's a decent length and she was like oh my god it's so pretty and she touched it now I didn't mind but I did jump because I was not prepared for the reach and the grab so I give her a pass and because she's older and you know older people they aren't they aren't as hip to inclusiveness learning about other people's cultures I mean some of them are and some of them just don't because they're stuck in their ways like most of us after a while you get used to doing the same thing and when something comes in to change it you get kind of upset pissed off so I gave her a pass but I've had somebody ask me before that I was friends with and I had no problem letting them do it. But the part that's, but, it, but the, the real issue is people not asking and just doing it. Because it's rude. Like, do you, you don't even do that to animals. Like when, you're, when somebody, you see somebody at a park and you see their dog, what do you do? Hey, is it okay if I pet him? Is he okay with people petting him? And that's an animal. So why do you think it's okay for you to just do that to a regular person? And that's what everybody was up in arms about. And I totally agree with it. If it was not established with grace that it was okay. But anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more of my little ranty, let me give you my two cents, even though you didn't ask for it, videos, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, leave your comments below. Have you seen this video before? How did you feel about it? How do you feel about people touching your hair if you're natural or just touching your hair in general? And I will see you later. <laughs> Have a good day, night, evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this. Bye.